I'm going to do some Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I like to do this exercise because it trains my eye to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll the dice to see which seat we're in. I rolled a four, so we're gonna be player four. We're non-dealer. I'm gonna get 13 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. There's our Charleston with no jokers. Let's look and see what we can do with these tiles. Look at all those flowers. I think we should leverage the flowers in the six. So what that tells me is we should maybe think of addition. Addition has four flowers, fives, and there is one option with a six. Since we have a five and a six in two suits, I think that's what we should try. Five, six. There is a consecutive run hand with four flowers. Second one from the bottom, two consecutive numbers. So let's hold fives and sixes. If we get one bams, we could maybe do the addition hand. So let's pick some discards. South, eight, two. That way we have a good second pass. We got a pair of green dragons. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Oh, look, we got a three. What about a three, six, nine hand? There are, there are a couple of hands in the three, six, nine category that use two flowers or four flowers in two suits. Let's not pick a hand and pass these. We got a nine and a three, three, six, nine. Let's give up on the five, three, six, nine. And look at these tiles to pass, three, six, nine. Three, six, six, nine. Second from the bottom, three, six, four flowers. Okay, let's do three, six, four flowers, six, nine. We need six, nine in either bams or dots. Let's see if we can get it. We got a bam and we have tiles we can pass. Now we got a five, we got a nine again. Four flowers, five, six, we're on a cross. We have to pass fully. Let's give up the five. Six, nine. Three, six, four flowers, six, nine. Pair, pung, kong, pung, pair. This hand is set. Let's pass last right, one blind. No keepers, optional cross, two please. Two discards, no gaps. We're ready to pung, pung, win. This would be the second hand from the bottom under three, six, nine. That was surprisingly, that was a nice surprise. 
because we had a big gap. Let me know what you thought about that. Right, pull one, and if you would have done anything differently, let's go on to the next one. Oh, let's roll and see which seat we're in. I rolled a 10, so we're going to be in seat two this time. Non-dealer, 13 tiles. Flower, dragon, pair four, seven, nine, four, six, eight, four, six. I think we should play evens. There's one even hand with a dragon, and it's corresponding to the suit. We might be able to play two, four, six, eight. We do have a gap, though. They're two, four, six, eight, second from the bottom. Here's a four, though. Four, six. We have a potential for the pair hand, but we have no twos. We need to give something up. So let's give up the four. Let's pass these three. Six, eight. There's an east. Four, six, eight, four. Lone four crack. Let's pass that. Two suits. Let's work on something with two suits. There's a pair hand, second one down under singles and pairs. There's the third from the bottom under evens and the second one down under evens. Since our multiple is with the six and the eight, four, six, eight. Let's give up the green dragon and focus on two suits. If we get sevens, we could always switch to consecutive run, or even a five. We got sixes. Okay, we have one tile to pass. Four, six, eight, four, six, I think we should give up dots. Let's keep the six because maybe we could play like numbers with sixes. Let's pass these three. There's a five. Oh, we got a six. Okay. Now, pung, pung. We have a gap with two, four, six, eight. No two. With like numbers, we could do like numbers, but we also have a gap with no six crack. Let's give up the four bam because we could still play consecutive if we get the seven bam. We've got five, five, two, seven, six, seven, eight. Mix suit Kongs. Six, seven, eight. Mix suit Kongs. We're going across. We're on the obligatory cross, so we have to pass three. The hand I'm thinking about now is the third one down on the right. Three suits, no gaps, very light with the seven. Let's give up a six. So we have five, six, seven. Here's a three. Let's see about maybe giving up the six. So here we have five, six, seven. I want to leverage those eights. Let's 
five, six, seven. There is a hand in consecutive run, five, six, seven with sixes, but we have a gap, no six crack. We could give up the six bam, focus on six, seven, eight. I want to pass fully because we have a long way to go. Let's pass fully. Okay, six, seven, really six, seven, eight, I think is the best. And we do have tiles we can pass for optional cross. Six, seven, eight. We have five discards. That was really challenging, but we have no gaps. We can use jokers to help here. All we need is a pair and sevens or jokers. So I would discard the east first and then these. I think I would probably hold Let's see, maybe the six and the seven to see if something consecutive comes in. So I think I would discard these first. Play six, seven, eight, mix suit Kongs. Third hand down on the right. That was really challenging, which is why this exercise is so good. It helps you to see potential leveraging multiples. I rolled a seven. So we're going to be in West seat, player three, non-dealer. We have no multiples, all single tiles, but I see a pattern, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. Let's give up the seven, three, four, five, two, three, three, four, five. Three, four, five, six, three, four, three, four, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and pass these three. Passing two wins together is a bit risky. Now we have a multiple to work with. So this is where we start. Reassess. Six. So with the six, we could do two, four, six, eight, but we have no eight. I think I would stick with consecutive run. So let's hold four or let's see, we could do three, six, nine, three, six, nine, or two, four, six, eight. We could use this for the eight, I suppose. Three, four, five, six. Can't keep it all. Let's focus on three, four, five, six. and discard these. So we got a five, seven, seven, five, seven, seven. So three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, two sevens. I don't think that's gonna be helpful we could still maybe do two, four, six, eight. 
Let's give up a seven, a five. We really don't need this seven, but I don't want to pass like numbers. That's, that's almost as bad as passing a pair, in my opinion. So we have three, four, five, six, two, four, six, eight with the joker. Let's give up the three here. We got a nine and an eight. We have two tiles to pass. Now we have two, four, six, eight, no gaps. We do not need that nine. We could do three, six, nine, and we have another three here. Let's keep the nine and pass the three. We could probably even get rid of that four and focus on either two, four, six, eight, or three, six, nine. Either way, we're leveraging the six. There's a nine, and we have tiles we can pass. I'm thinking three, six, nine now. White dragon. There is one hand in 369 that uses a dragon, and it is the same suit. So we can't use that, really. I would not pass it, though. So we have 3, 6, 9. We could do 5, 7, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, use that. Or 2, 4, 6, 8. We'd have to throw away a pair of nines. Let's give up the two and pass these three. It's a little risky because they're all consecutive. There's a seven. So we have five through nine, eight east. We could still do three, six, nine. Let's give up the four and do a full pass. We have discards. Four discards, but we have, oh, five discards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I would probably play the very first hand under consecutive run. I probably would keep the three just in case three, six, nine, and one suit comes in. There are two hands that could be played with flowers, which we have none, but I would hold it just the same. I would discard these tiles. Probably play consecutive run, but there is still that possibility for three, six, nine. Let me know what you thought about that one. Very challenging, quite a puzzle. When you get your drawn tiles, build around your multiples. If you don't have multiples, gather as many tiles as you can for any given category and then go through the Charleston. If you have a multiple that forms, reassess. Even if you have gaps, visualize where the hand can go. Make a plan, but stay flexible. Go with any category or hand that doesn't have gaps when it comes down to decision time. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.